Jim Fails. A comical glimpse into overconfidence and misuse of equipment. Gyms, with their plethora of equipment and a range of users, are fertile grounds for witnessing overconfidence mingling with unfamiliarity, creating a spectacle of gym fails. These incidents, often a source of amusement and, at times, cringe-worthy moments, reflect not only the individual's misunderstanding of gym equipment but also the broader human tendency to overestimate one's abilities and understanding. The internet is flooded with comical snippets of overzealous gym-goers navigating gym equipment in bewildering ways, bringing levity to the sometimes intense atmosphere of gym spaces. At the heart of these gym fails is the ubiquitous overconfident gym-goer. This individual, brimming with zeal, approaches gym equipment with the assurance of a seasoned athlete but often lacks fundamental knowledge of the equipment's intended use. A common example is the misuse of the leg press machine where individuals, in their quest to impress or challenge themselves, stack on unmanageable weights, leading to an inevitable struggle, accentuated by peculiar body contortions and erratic movements. Then there are the treadmill fiascos, wherein overly assured individuals, perhaps wanting to flaunt their athletic prowess, set the speed to a running pace while clearly lacking the required stamina or coordination. The result is a series of comical, albeit potentially harmful, stumbles and unplanned dismounts, serving as a real-time portrayal of overambition meeting reality. Another frequent sighting in this collection of gym misadventures involves the misuse of free weights. Here, the overconfident gym-goer, often dismissive of form and technique, engages in a pantomime of awkward lifts and sways. Dumbbells are swung with abandon. Barbells are hoisted with precarious grips, and the surrounding gym members are treated to a display of unintentional slapstick comedy, as the individual teeters on the brink of losing balance. While these instances are undeniably amusing, they also underscore the importance of humility and the willingness to learn. Gym equipment, designed with specific functions and purposes, requires a foundational understanding to be used effectively and safely. The humorous encounters with gym equipment often stem from a reluctance to ask for guidance or refer to instructional placards strategically placed on the machines. This reluctance, coupled with overconfidence, transforms an individual's workout session into a series of misadventures, providing inadvertent entertainment to onlookers. The Internet's role in propagating gym fails cannot be understated. Social media platforms are awash with compilations of gym-goers entangled in equipment, lifting weights in precarious postures, or tumbling off exercise machines. These clips, shared and viewed by millions, serve as a contemporary form of slapstick comedy, where the humor arises from physical mishaps and exaggerated overconfidence. However, the viral nature of these clips also serves as a cautionary tale emphasizing the consequences of bypassing learning and diving headfirst into unfamiliar territories. Importantly, Jim Fails highlight the juxtaposition of self-assurance and vulnerability. The individuals in these scenarios, despite their apparent confidence, expose their lack of knowledge and experience to a room full of observers. This vulnerability, accentuated by the public nature of Jim's, transforms a private moment of learning into a shared experience of humorous misinterpretation. These gym fail scenarios also act as a metaphor for human behavior in broader contexts. The overconfident gym goer mirrors the individual in society who, armed with self-assurance but lacking knowledge, ventures into new domains, resulting in unintended and often comical outcomes. This behavior reflects the human inclination to overestimate one's abilities and the reluctance to appear inexperienced or uninformed. However, beyond the humor and the metaphors, there is a valuable lesson embedded in gym fails. They emphasize the importance of acknowledging one's limitations and the value of learning. Rather than approaching new experiences with unwarranted confidence, individuals can benefit from adopting a learner's mindset, seeking guidance, and gradually building competence. In conclusion, gym fails, characterized by overconfident individuals engaging with gym equipment in hilariously incorrect ways, offer more than just a dose of humor. They illustrate the consequences of overconfidence mixed with a lack of knowledge and the human tendency to avoid appearing uninformed. These amusing scenarios serve as a reminder of the importance of learning, the value of humility, and the enriching experience of navigating unfamiliar territories with openness and a willingness to learn. The laughs derived from these incidents are not just at the physical blunders but at the universally human experience of grappling with the unknown and the unexpected.